So we are going to go from start to finish writing a Maui app. So if you're new to Maui, you're new to XAML, this is the series for you. Hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Leslie Richardson. And I'm your co-host, Robert Green. Sweet. And the two of us are here because it takes two to do a massive uh, series like the one we are about to embark on. This is an 18 part series all about getting started with XAML and Maui. So from start to finish, we are going to walk through creating your very first Maui application, which is super exciting. So if you've always wanted to write a Maui app or you want to familiar, familiarize yourself more with XAML, this is the series for you. So joining us for this series to get us started is Paul Sheriff. Hey, Paul. Hey, everybody. Hey, Paul. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Very good. Very excited about all this. Should be fun. Should be fun. I, I love Maui, so we're going to have a good time here. Great. So would you like to introduce yourselves before we get started? Sure. My name's Paul Sheriff. Uh, been in this industry since about 85, 86. Been training almost about the same amount of time. Uh, been doing WPF and XAML and any sort of type of XAML I can for many, many years. Just love it. And uh, so I thought this would be kind of a fun series to do. Uh, Robert and I were talking uh, a few weeks ago and decided this would be kind of fun to do. So looking yeah. forward to it. Gives us a chance to work together, which is always fun. Oh, when I go way back. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's not, let's not say how far. <laughs> way or back than we'll ever be specific about. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So for this first episode, I think it would be a good idea to just talk about the why or the whys. So why XAML? Why Maui? Why use both of them? What's the perk of writing Maui applications, all that jazz? Yeah, I mean, you know, to me, XAML is everywhere, right? I mean, it's, it got introduced in, you know, obviously the WPF, and then it went on to what, Xamarin. Uh, we had that Silverlight for a while, I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're seeing it in so many different tools today, even Blazor now. There's that XAML for Blazor out there. Have you guys seen that? That's kind of cool. So lots of stuff that they're putting XAML into. So I think for me, using XAML, it's neat because I can create my UIs pretty much one time and hopefully reuse it in different platforms. There are some tweaks sometimes we have to make, some differences between the different technologies. But for the most part, once you learn it once, you can apply it almost everywhere. To me, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. That's pretty special. And um, on the topic, Maui and XAML, you know, they're both acronyms. What <laughs> Do you know what they stand for for the uninitiated? Sure. Extensible Application Markup Language. So it's, it's basically XML on steroids, right? It's you know, it's this declarative markup language. And we can use XAML to describe the user interface data bindings, which is really cool, and we'll cover that throughout this series, and styles. So we use XAML for so many different things, which is really cool. Great. And then MAUI stands for? Oh, boy. Multiple <laughs> application <laughs> user interface. Right. <laughs> like a test, you passed. <laughs> always have to think about that one. <laughs> no, it's that place in Hawaii, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's basically the idea that you write your app in XAML and then it runs on multiple platforms, Windows, Android, iOS, uh, right. et cetera, Mac OS. Right. I mean, that's, that's the great thing that, you know, again, why we try to use Maui, because we can just do it one time and apply it to many different platforms. Now, obviously, there are some differences here and there that you might have to, you know, work on. So. When you're trying to build those cross-platform maps, yeah, it might be a little different when on iOS versus Android. So you might have to do a couple of little, you know, kind of like if statements, if you will, to say what platform you're on. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, but, you know, when you look at XAML, you know, it's great because it allows you to build these rich user interfaces, great data binding capabilities. We can use C Sharp. And sometimes Visual Basic. Unfortunately, Visual Basic is not supported for .NET MAUI at this time, um, but C Sharp is, and you can actually use C Sharp to build XAML, or, or actually build the user interface if you want. Oh, I'm gonna highly recommend you use XAML to create the UI. Only use C Sharp if you really need to. Um, 
And it's it's really neat with the XAML hot reload they have. Uh, really cool. You can have the app keep it running. You can make changes to the XAML and you see it right away on the screen, which is also really neat. Cool. Let's uh, let's dive into the XAML. Sure. Let's, uh, you know, one thing. yeah, let me kind of just talk a little bit. Let me throw up just a few slides here, if you don't mind, and we'll kind of just give a little overview, and then we'll actually bring up Visual Studio and run our first app. So what I, as I mentioned before, it's kind of a UI agnostic way to build cross-platform applications. And if you do this right, I'm going to show you how to do that throughout this series. You build a view model, you build your entity classes, you use all the best things like dependency injection. If you do all of that, you can totally reuse the back end, the view models, the entity, the data layers, all of that. You can reuse across any platform, WPF, you know, MAUI, MVC, Windows Forms if you wanted to. But UI, the UI would change for each of them, but your back end stuff does not change. And that's really neat. You'll find it's really easy to build these rich interfaces with XAML. Okay, wonderful data binding capabilities, which we're going to talk about. Great styling and theming, which we'll talk about. We can, you know, in WPF, for instance, you can do 2D and 3D graphics and even animation. So, all right, as I mentioned, we can use C Sharp or Visual Basic Code to create the UI. But again, I highly recommend you use XAML to do that. Um, we're going to use the C Sharp and or VB to respond to events, to create business objects, things like that but we use XAML to describe the user interface. We're gonna create our UI using either Visual Studio or VS Code, either one works. And there's a new toolkit out for uh, VS Code as well that helps, that makes that a little bit easier to do. Um, Leslie you'll find... knows all about that. Pardon? <laughs> Leslie knows all about that. She does, <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're going to be editing at XAML directly a lot of times, but with the hot reload, it doesn't really matter, as you'll see as we go throughout this course here. Um, now, I do want to point out, like I mentioned, there are differences between .NET MAUI, WPF, the WinUI, Xamarin, the uh, XAML for Blazor. There are differences between all of these, but you'll find that even though the control names are different, they do the same types of things, right? The same types of controls exist from every in every platform. You know, radio buttons, buttons, labels, we have all of those things. And if you know one, you can easily learn the others as we've been over and over and over and over again. Absolutely. You know, the, some property names are a little different between one, you know, technology and the other, but again, they're used to set the same thing. So if you've used XAML before, we're going to be talking about the flavor of XAML that applies to .NET MAUI. And you'll see some of these differences, but you're going to see, oh, well, OK, that makes sense. And with the IntelliSense, of course, hey, you know, big deal. We, we can figure it out pretty easily. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, why XAML, right? Mm -hmm. We kind of touched on it a little bit, but, you know, it's that whole idea of separating our user interface from the code. I mean, think about HTML. Right, it's the same thing. In HTML, HTML is HTML. That's the UI piece. And then we write code to affect that. And that's what XAML does too. It allows you to port then this UI to different environments. As we mentioned, Windows, Android, the Mac OS, you know, uh, iPhone, those types of things. So we have all of these places that we can write once and then deploy it to these different environments. Now, one thing, how, what do you need? What do you need to do to actually get going with this? Well, I I have found generally on average it takes about forty hours of time to learn. Okay, you need to dedicate yourself to taking the time to learn. Now, I'm going to tell you if you have any sort of graphic ability, it's going to help a lot because uh, you need to think in flow layout. Right? There's no absolute position. So if you're coming from like Windows Forms, totally different. Now, I'll tell you if you have experience with web design, this is really going to help. These are the types of things that you're just going to have to do. Dive in, learn XAML and learn .NET MAUI. Shouldn't take you that long. And then you're going to be well on your way to being a XAML program. Now, just to be clear, we are not going to spend 40 hours on it. In this <laughs> yes, we are. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, we're going to do... spend 40 hours for this video series going all through it. So strap in, get your caffeine. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. That's right. <laughs> 
No, you know, what we want to do is kind of give the basics of the UI, how it works, you know, um, how, do you, how to design a typical business application. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to create an entity, entity classes, a repositories. We're going to create view models. So we're actually going to build this the correct way. We're going to use dependency injection. We're going to use the model view, view model approach. So we're going to show you the right way to build a Maui application that allow you to take this and move forward very quickly. You want to take a look at just building one really quick? Yeah. All right, let's go take a look. Let's bring up Visual Studio. And we're using 17.7, is that right? Of Visual yes. Studio and .NET 7 we're going to use. By the time we publish this, .NET 8 will have just appeared, but nothing we're going to show in this in 7 isn't in 8. So, right, it's 100%. Yeah, 100 yeah and hopefully it'll just out. be better by the time we get to .NET 8. So. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be better. It's not going to have any, you know, sort of, there shouldn't be any breaking changes from what we're doing in here. There might be some new things. Hopefully the performance is a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and obviously there's, there's a few things here and there are little gotchas that sometimes you have to work around. And I'm hoping most of those will be fixed by them too. But to do this, let's just start out. Let's click on create a new project. And then you would typically search for the template, .NET, Maui. And it's going to come up with a list of things that you can do. Choose the .NET Maui app. Click Next. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call mine AdventureWorks. I'm going to use the old AdventureWorks Ooh. database. Y'all remember that? Old school. <laughs> old school. Hey, I'm an old guy. We do old school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think Leslie's a little younger than us, Robert. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty unfamiliar with what you just said. <laughs> but, you know, Paul, you're only as old as you act. That's my That is true. And boy, oh boy, don't say that because you know how much I act like. All yeah. right, so I'm going to click next. And please make sure you're choosing .NET 7. Okay, don't go back to .NET 6. And we'll hit create. And basically, you know, it's going to use a standard template that Microsoft has created for us. We bring this up. And it's got just a starting point. It's just a tiny little application, but it works pretty well, right? It gives you a good way to kind of get started. And we're going to go through kind of what some of this stuff is in here. Uh, but the main thing that we're look we're going to look at here is mainpage.xaml. This is where everything starts. And here's your first look at XAML code, right? So as you can see, if you're familiar at all with XML. This looks very familiar because XAML is nothing more than XML on steroids. Okay, so I want to do this real quick. There we go. Kind of get a little bit more on the screen here. So you can see this is the layout. We've got what's called a scroll view. We have a vertical stack layout. We have an image. We have a label, another label, and a button. So you can kind of guess what those things are going to do. Well, let's go ahead and just run this so we can see what this looks like. Okay, so here is that main page that we were looking at in XAML. If you remember, there was an image, there was a label, another label, and a button. So here it is. There's the image right here. There's the Hello World label. There's the Welcome to .NET Multi-Platform App UI label. And then here's a little button. And if you follow directions, you can click me, <laughs> and it'll just tell you, you know, how many times you're clicking on this thing, right? Pretty darn simple. What's neat about this as well, so this is running on my Windows machine, right? It actually deploys it as a Windows app. And if you were to bring up, you know, add or remove programs, you could search for AdventureWorks.Maui, and you would find this in there. The other option that we have, is if you bring down your little start menu here, you go to the Android emulators, you should find if you've installed this according to the directions that Microsoft has on their website on how to install Maui, there's the Android emulator you can install. And once we have that, we can go ahead and run this. And this one, I'm gonna warn you, the first time you run it, it is gonna take a, you know probably a couple of minutes to come up. <laughs> Because uh, obviously it's having to compile this for Android. So it's got like a little subsystem down there that it's doing its thing with. It's got to get that all compiled. 
and then it will deploy it to this emulator that we'll see here in just a couple of minutes. All right, so now you can see the same image, the same labels, and the same button, but it's running on an Android system. And there's a couple of different emulators that you can get. There's uh, one that you can get this Windows subsystem for Android, I think it's called. Is that correct, Robert? Yep. And that's typically a lot faster than the emulators that you're using. Correct. It's typically a lot faster. Um, so they, again, there's instructions up on uh, Microsoft's website on how to download that and, and get it working on your machine. But the interface is exactly the same. Everything still works exactly the same. And so there you go. There's our first look at starting our Maui application. We're going to keep going. We're going to just basically kill this screen. We're going to start building up level, little by little to create a real nice working business application in .NET Maui. Cool. Cool. Can't wait. Yeah, Maybe we should ship fun. this one, honestly. <laughs> this is the business app. <laughs> ship it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. But that's good. <laughs> <But> <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if somebody actually done that. Wouldn't that have been funny if somebody really did put that into the, the store? <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty great, yeah. <laughs> they call it something super fancy and you download it and it's just like the template. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time as we really hit the ground running and start writing an actual app. <laughs> so until next time, happy coding, y'all. Bye.